This edition of But Is It Jazz features the band Brazzaville, accompanied by guest poet Anthony Joseph. It also features Lund Quartet, a compelling new band from Bristol, giving their first ever Belgian appearance. I came across these guys and they were jamming in the, this tin shed lined with mouldy carpet. But it was the coziest little tin shed. And they've been writing their own software to produce music in a way that I've never seen before. Simon was doing solos, Jake was recording it then and there, and they were playing with it. Um, that's one of the first things we ever did. Jake came around my house and I got my violin out and recorded it. And Put it on the turntable. He put Jake put it on the turntable, and then I was playing piano to Jake scratching my violin. I was going, yeah. "That's mad!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was jamming along to this on the drums, going, "Wow, this is cool! Yeah. You know, how can we do this live?" <laughs> focus is to make people dance or listen and, and be intrigued. And I'm very influenced by Scandinavian jazz, just because it's got this space to it. Yeah, yeah. I also love dub, yeah. which has got the space in it. You know, it's simplicity, it's a groove, it's, then there's just space for sounds. But is it jazz? It's a good question. We find music, it hard to label it? music yeah. unless it's very obvious. Um, we like a lot of different styles, so it's, it, to be honest, it's a lot of different styles, and we brought it together the way we know yeah, best. I guess there's elements of jazz in that. I think purists might have a problem yeah. with accepting it as jazz, but um, yeah, and uh, accepting it as anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Freedom and rhythm, mm -hmm. That's it. and I think those are one of or two of the most important parameters that, that, that there are for our music. And I have a lot of respect for them, and they respect me, and that that makes it easy. Once you've got that, that sort of mutual love and respect, you know. Plus the heavy band, the incredibly tight and funky, you know amazing band so for me it's it's really easy to, to just slip in his voice at the deep fur of a man who kept fish hooks in his beard so i put on my white muslim jumpsuit i slit my sleeves and leave a slight i put my hands up with syrian beeswax and root soup with the rake and the two corn day by the antibiotic combo pump i met pain and he was waiting for the contraband that's it also a very nice aspect that it's it's always uh, an adventure or something it's like this crusade in a way you, you start something and it, it has to stay adventurous you've got to let things cook a little bit man. you've got to yeah. let, let the groove mellow a little let it you know it reaches somewhere then it just balances off you've got to let it simmer but is it jazz <laughs> 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 i would say yeah yeah. I'd say yeah, because you know, for me the components of jazz, as far as I understand it, as far as, as, far as the, the great jazz men define it, is having a, a funky bottom, being able to make people dance, being connected to the tradition 
of jazz, where it comes from, the original. And this guy plays a serious Barry, you know, which yeah, is, yeah, goes yeah. all the way back. Yeah. Um, and having the spirit of the blues in it. So I think that, that's, is it jazz? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>